hi, I'm out of the jungle making content for you and also your mum. How is she? For those of you who didn't know, I just came out of a reality show called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I wanted to tell you guys about it and I don't normally do this style of video, but sit down for a while because I've got a lot of tea to spill. Nope, that's not on brand for me. Here we go. This might be slightly boring. So, I'll start with before you go in. So I found out I was going into the jungle on the 29th of November, uh, which was so hard because one of the biggest things is you can't tell anyone you're going in. So I found it incredibly difficult not to tell anyone. When I was in New York, it was really hard. Um, when I was at work, it was really hard. Even like your really close friends, you can't tell. Um, and I really wanted to tell you guys where I was going the entire time and you feel like you're lying and deceiving people. That I felt, I just burped, <clears throat> really, really hard. So the show starts on the 5th of January for you guys, but we actually went into the jungle on the 3rd of January. So we all had to get there just after Christmas. So most people flew out Boxing Day. It's weird because before you go in, you stay in an amazing lodge. Like I stayed in this lodge where I looked out my window and saw giraffes and hippos. And then you go into the jungle. It's like, here's the minimum to survive. Um, the weird thing is that you have a chaperone the entire time you're in South Africa. They pick you up from the airport. They take your phone away from you 24 hours before you go in. I went to my um, South African chaperone's house for New Year's Eve. First get into camp and you're like, oh my God, it's really pretty in there. It's like, it's got a tent over it because they can't not have a tent because it rains. It actually hailed in there when we were there. But also, monkeys uh, and baboons like pee on the tent. And then if you're not covered by the tent, you know, you'll get covered in baboon pee. Like I got peed on by a baboon three times. Not the worst. I stayed for 24 nights in the jungle and it is like literally bare minimum. In the morning you have oats and water and it's like this much. And then we would have lunch, which would be rice and beans. And then dinner would be whatever we got in the trial. So it would depend on how many stars we got. Uh, but usually it'd be like some miscellaneous antelope or like I had a warthog in there, crocodile, and then like really bizarre vegetables. And um, we had a chef, Miguel, who cooked really good food. But there's only so much you can do with like a random antelope. We ate this antelope once that tasted like uh, human flesh, how I would imagine human flesh would taste like. But one thing that they don't talk about on the show or show on the show is the toilets. Inside the toilets, it's like the set of the Blair Witch Project. It's like, how many Elizabethan ghosts live in here? 45? Reasonably, yes. Another thing is that you always see lizards there, you always see snakes there. It's like the jungle. It drives me nuts when people go, it's filmed in the Blue Mountains. It's not! It's filmed in the middle of a South African jungle. They also don't show you the shower. Like I had to shower naked and there's cameras on you. Does that footage exist? Are they gonna use it at a later date? I don't know. I think I got eliminated eighth. And then at the end of the run, it's so weird because you don't know when you're gonna get eliminated. You don't know when the hosts are coming in. And so you're like in there, camp life, you have your oats and then all of a sudden it's like, Tanya, you're out. And then you walk up this giant hill I didn't want to get eliminated because I didn't want to walk up the hill. It's like this giant hill. And by the time I got, I was like sweating. It was horrific. Um, and then they hold you for a lot and tell you, you know, do you remember your charity? Remember why you're doing this for? Because your brain's a mess. And then you do your exit interview with the hosts. They show you some best bits. Um, and then they go, you're a celebrity. Get yourself out of here. And you're like, okay. And then you walk down this area, wave at a camera and then that's the end. You do a bit of media and then you're on a plane back to Australia the next day. It's the weirdest thing. Like you go from only having 12 people or however many people are in the camp to all these other people and it's really overwhelming because you're used to just hanging out with a certain amount of people. Um, and you, you, don't, you don't have a phone in there, you don't have currency in there, you don't have a wallet in there, you don't have a handbag in there. It's so, and then all of a sudden you're like, where's my bag? Which is something you've just not thought about in, well, I was there for, yeah, 24 nights, like almost a month. But your brain is in the game the minute you find out you're going into the show. So this is probably being quite boring. I thought it would be more interesting, but it's coming out. Is this boring, Tom? No. <laughs> no, in the tone of yes. <laughs> is it really boring? No, I've actually really enjoyed it. 
Have you? Yeah, I have actually. Ah. Goodbye. <laughs>